What's up guys, it's Brandon Flash. Today you're joining me with my Rivian R1T. And I want to address something that I see pretty commonly on Facebook groups, Twitter, whatever. They'll say, oh, I've been driving for 45 minutes. Why is my battery not warm? Why am I not getting full charging speeds, whatever. So I'm running some errands today. We're gonna to start and show you the battery temperature on my Rivian as we're getting started. My truck's been sitting overnight. It's about 55 degrees, 13 Celsius here in Charlotte. And I'm gonna show you what happens with the battery temperature just driving around for a couple hours as I'm running errands and you can see the results yourselves. So we're in my truck now, we're at 61% state of charge. You can see there, 55 degrees, that's in Fahrenheit, of course. And here are our battery temperatures. So minimum pack temp, max pack temp. So we're right about that 60 degree mark. And make note of that because we're gonna go run some errands. We're headed to Costco first because they close at six. Then we also have to go to Whole Foods. We're gonna head up to Target and we're gonna head up to the North Lake uh, Target, actually right by where the uh, Rivian Adventure Network spot is being built, see if there's any progress there. So you'll get a little bit of info in that regard as well. So let's head there four miles, 11 minutes. We'll see if anything changes with battery temperature. I predict less than one degree Celsius increase, but we'll find out. I'm just gonna drive normally. Of course, if you yo-yo it, it will increase the battery temperature pretty dramatically, but we're just gonna do normal driving today. Made it to Costco and we increased our battery temperature by half a degree as minimum, one degree as max. So it's uh, 4.51, let's take care of Costco before they close at six on a Saturday. And then we'll uh, head up to North Lake next. So REI. Not Pineville. Not sure why it's not showing up here. I'll just have to send it from my phone here. Oh, there we go. So if any trip is gonna warm it up a bit, it would be this one, but don't think we're gonna see a huge increase in battery temperature. Of course, this is not taking into account preconditioning. So for example, if you set a DC fast charger as your navigation destination, it will actually either heat or cool the battery, uh, typically to a target temperature in the Rivian's case of 25 degrees Celsius. Uh, that's about 77 degrees Fahrenheit. And most EVs have a minimum pack temperature for full charging speed of around 25 degrees Celsius. Some are higher, some are lower. Just really depends on the battery and the battery chemistry. Finished in Costco as fast as I reasonably could on a Saturday. Now we're headed to REI 20 minute drive and battery temperatures are the same as when we got out of uh, Costco. So let's hit the road. Uh, I want to try and find a car wash too. Well, we made it to REI with the Rivian Adventure Network uh, installation that's not really making any progress, it seems. Uh, still just have the switch gear and then we have the transformer over here. Uh, but stalls are still looking empty, cabinets are not there, and yeah, looks like not a whole lot of anything has changed here. Let's take a look at battery temperatures. So we did go up very marginally, 17 minimum, 19 max. We had some slower uh, interstate high or like city, inner city interstate driving, so kind of lower speeds, but still on the interstate. Uh, then we hit some traffic and I sat in that for a few minutes before just dipping out to the bypass uh, toll lane. And then we were going uh, about 70, 80 or so. So uh, had some steady state interstate driving and now we're up here in North Lake. So let me just take some photos here. We'll swing by the Tesla install and then we'll head to Target and then we'll head back home and I'll keep you guys updated on the battery temperatures. Now scooting over to the Tesla Supercharger 12 stall version three. We've been here many times on this channel. And it looks like we have uh, two open stalls, maybe three. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have three open stalls. 
at that version 3 supercharger at Saturday or on Saturday at about 6 p.m. Now we're headed over to the Target just right over there and then we'll uh, get back on the road. Golden hour as we're approaching spring sure is beautiful. Target happened. I had three items on my list and I ended up with two full bags of stuff. Done at Target and battery is at the same temperature essentially. The max temp actually went down very slightly. So it looks like the temperature gradient is just closing. And now let's head back to Whole Foods, which is right by my apartment and about a half hour drive. So in theory should get a little bit of temperature into the battery, but let's see what happens. car wash time now let's turn on uh, car wash mode just like that there's our temperatures we've got a uh, 18 degrees minimum 20 max so marginal increase we're getting blasted on the underside let's see if we get any lower temperatures as we go through the wash well just spent about I don't know, half an hour, I'd guess. Essentially detailing my truck. Man, is it looking good. It had been uh, probably two or three weeks since I last washed it, which was way too long. And even with full body paint protection film was not looking great. But luckily with full body paint protection film, I just do an automatic touch or touchless car wash. And then I use a quick detailer spray and some microfibers, just wipe down the whole thing. And then it brings it back to the like new shine. Now we're headed to Whole Foods, which is literally right over there. And we just made it back home. We're at 44% battery and we've gone up two and a half degrees on the minimum cell temp and we've gone up three degrees on the maximum cell temp. So here's a screenshot that I took when we departed. So you can see 15, 16, and then 17.5 and 19. And here's our stats from driving. We drove almost 40 miles, uh, and that was over the course of about two hours. Of course, that's just the driving time. And we moved just over 20 kilowatt hours through the battery. So this was just kind of a silly day in the life video. Wanted to show the impacts of driving on battery temperature. Rivian is a bit of a worst case scenario aside from maybe the Hummer EV, uh, just given the sheer size of the battery up, about 135, 140 kilowatt hour. Whereas most EVs, passenger vehicles, like the Teslas, Polestar 2, ID4, all those kinds of vehicles, typically they're around the 70 to 80 kilowatt hour range. So a bit smaller uh, and have a bit less thermal mass than the giant Rivian battery does. Uh, if I had to guess, the Rivian battery is probably somewhere in the 1500 to 2000 pound range. Uh, and if you think about it, almost all of that is actually metal. And it's essentially a giant heat sink that takes a ton of energy and a ton of heat to actually heat up. And that's why preconditioning is so important for fast charging uh, because it's actually actively heating the battery versus trying to passively heat the battery from just your use and the energy movement through it. So actively heating it is actually using a coolant heater and then it's pumping that heat throughout the battery to cycle it and heat up everything. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.